In this video, I'm going to talk about what goes into a good drill. Now, this drill I've been using for about 15, getting closer to 20 years now, and I've had no trouble with it at all. It's a DeWalt brand, and it's actually number DW236. They don't uh, sell this anymore. They sell, you know, the newer models. But a lot of the features that make this great are the same. You can get this on Amazon. I think originally I got this at Home Depot for maybe a hundred and... 20, 130 bucks, and uh, it's great to put money into a good drill. Drills are something that you use a lot, at least me. I mean, it's probably going to be the, the power tool you use the most out of any of them. So, some tools you rarely use, you can go cheap. Drills are not worth going cheap on. So, what I love about this drill and all power tools, a rule for me is I never get a battery pack on a tool. Uh, what happens lots of times you're working with somebody doing some construction project they might have a battery tool and they'll have to stop because the battery's dead or it's just really weak there's no power to it if you have to get a replacement battery it's super expensive uh, I love always being able to use the tool no matter what and so um, a cord is not a big handicap for me it doesn't really matter that I have to dance around having a cord in the way I just love that it's always ready to go no matter what and they're cheaper corded ones are cheaper uh, the the battery packs are more expensive um, so to me it's better anyway and i'm saving money um, with this design i loved i've always liked dewalt brand with uh with how well they hold up and i've never had trouble with any of their tools i've always found them top notch so uh one thing you're, you're going to want to look for in a tool is this is called a uh, keyless chuck. Now, I don't even think they make uh, drills anymore that you use a key. It used to be this little bit of metal with what looks like a gear and you'd have to tighten the bit. And it was just such a pain to deal with that. But now they have um, just this little uh, grip that you turn on the drill and you hold it, or you can just yank it and you can, um, if you look while I spin it, this opens up and then the teeth will come. See them closing there? Just by holding this. And so you grip it and you can tighten it up. So it's really quick. What I like about this drill is this is hard, hard plastic. It's not rubber. Like I can't dig my fingernails into it and rip it up. A lot of power tools will have this nice rubber grip here. And that's, you know, that after a while it's all shredded and coming up and it just is terrible. I like the hard plastic. Um, it, you have to grip it harder, but it doesn't get destroyed after a while. This, I, I mean, I put so many hours into this drill and it still works just fine. Um, another thing of, about what makes a great drill, this one can accept bits up to half an inch, which is awesome because you can use really big drill bits. And I can still use these tiny ones. now. The downside is because this is such a, a beefy drill bit, you're a little bit more likely to snap a, um, a, a drill bit because of the amount of weight that go, that's in the whole body. But it doesn't happen that much, and you just got to be a little careful. Now, if you're uh, limp-wristed, if you're not very strong, this is going to be a little bit heavy to be lugging around. Some of the jobs, this has, because it has so much weight to it because it's so powerful, um, it gets a little heavy, but still not bad, uh, not, an, not annoying enough for me to not like it. The other thing about this, this is a 7.8 amp motor, which is good because you can use things like these paint mixers. So you uh, put this in the, shove it in there, turn, dump this in a paint bucket, spin it, and it mixes the paint really well. With weak drills, you might burn out the motor um, doing harder uh, drilling into harder objects or, you know, burning out the motor trying to mix thick paints or something. Um, with this drill, you can push it slow or push it, hold it down very, a little bit on the trigger and this will spin slow. You, the, the more you push the trigger, the faster it'll go. And then when you flick this little switch here, it goes in reverse. Now this button I never use. This is in case you're having a hard time 
uh, taking out, you know, I'm doing the chuck here and you need, you need to lock this, but I, I just grip it and turn it on and then I can undo it. This little switch I almost never use, but in case you have to, it's great. You push this up. So like, let's say you put on a deburring tool, you know, one of those wire um, um, brushes or something that you just want this to spin forever. You just lay it on your desk or something and you're messing around with whatever's spinning on the end. You can do that so you don't have to always hold down the trigger. Um, it's got, it's a rubbery grip here, which makes it great to hold. You're not, it's not gonna slip. And this is nice when you're really cramming this drill into something. You need to put a lot of pressure. It has this, you put your finger there, your thumb there. I'm gonna sneeze, eh? And uh, you can, your force goes straight through right into what you're drilling. So it's really easy to hold it like that. Um, let's see, what else? So it's a comfortable drill. I don't, you know, it doesn't hurt my hands using it. Some of them are just ergonomically terrible. It'll come with this. And uh, what this does, you just slip it over there spin it and tighten it. Now, sometimes if you're drilling into something really big with massive drill bits and you're just really cranking this thing, if you're not holding on to something like this and it catches, I don't know, sometimes I'll, I'll catch a, a nail or a bolt or I don't know, some object and it's gonna stop the drill bit dead and your drill is gonna flick. Well, if you have this grip on the side, you got two hands and the chances of you snapping your wrist <laughs> And breaking a bone are a lot less so I, I, I hardly use this but when you need it it's good to have um, so again it's worth spending the money on this thing uh, get a good one so those are the features that you look for I, I like this not rubberized I don't want a battery um, a, a big amperage so 7.8 amps it's I've always had enough power in this thing so that's you know, good enough size motor that the, uh, the chuck can accept drill bits up to half an inch. That's great. You know, you, you have a lot of uh, options. You can use uh, different bits and different size things. So, so again, DeWalt brand has been awesome. There's other good brands, but I've never had trouble with this uh, brand at all. So hopefully this review has been helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask and I'll uh, do my best to answer them.